welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly. And if you've already been here, as always, thank you guys so much for returning to my channel and supporting my channel by clicking on this video and welcome back. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be doing this drugstore look you guys i used all drugstore products i used a bunch of new products that i've never tried before i'm excited to show you guys i'm kind of obsessed with it because i really like the pop of blue i like the fact that the blue is there but it's not overbearing it's wearable that's what i like about it it's wearable i wanted to give the simple makeup looks a break you know sometimes i like to you know do the full glam and then other times we like to keep it simple so today i was just into a full glam mood so yeah here we are <laughs> one of the things that i really like about this look is that it's very simple along with it being wearable it's very simple to create so if you guys do recreate this look please tag me on Instagram or wherever you post it. I love seeing your looks. I love when you guys recreate my looks and I just love seeing your makeup looks in general. So tag me. I don't know why, but I feel like this would be like the perfect baby shower look. Like if you are pregnant with a girl, you could do this like with pink. And if you're pregnant with a boy, you could do blue. I don't know why. I just feel like this will look really, really pretty on a, a mommy to be. Anyone could recreate it, so yes do that but i don't know i just feel like baby shower blues something i don't know anyway if you haven't already be sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads we got plenty of content coming you don't want to miss it so hit the notification bell and without further ado if you want to see how i achieve this look using all drugstore products keep on watching it's snowing here, so I don't really have anywhere to go, but I kind of wanted to do my makeup. And I'm also vlogging today. It's just gonna be like a snow day in with me um, type of vlog, but I wanted to do my makeup. So that's what we're gonna do. Elf just recently launched their Cookies and Dream collection, and they have so many cute new products that I really want to try. I'm just gonna use this Elf Cookies and Dreams just the cream putty primer. I just did my skincare and everything too, so I might be looking a little glowy. My skin is really doing its thing right now. But anyway, I'm gonna prime. Elf sold me on their, what primer is it? Power Grip, the Power Grip Primer. If you've been watching me, then you know I always talk about how primer is not a necessity, but that Power Grip, <laughs> It's just different. It is different. If you've wanted to try the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, you don't even have to spend your money on that if you don't want to because the Power Grip by e.l.f. is a really good, really good dupe for that one. You have to try it to know what I'm talking about. That primer is something. But anyway, we're, the, we're not here to talk about primer. I'm gonna do foundation first just to switch things up a bit and i'm gonna use this oma beauty flawless in real life skin perfecting foundation i really love love this foundation so i'm gonna use that i'm gonna do like a pump and a half on the back of my hand the coverage in this foundation is so good so i'm gonna really focus it around my mouth area and like my problem areas so i'm going to use my body sponge by sonia kashuk i'm blending that out and just look at that coverage i don't even know if the camera really picks up on it but this foundation is so bomb. I'm going to use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Deep Olive. Oh, this one's, that one's super yellow. Don't want to use that. <laughs> I'm going to blend it out because 
that was super yellow and I didn't really want it to be that yellow. But I'm using the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams Single Scoop Face Sponge to blend this concealer. And that concealer is really, really yellow. So I'm gonna go on top of it with another one. Oh yeah, I like this one. This one's much better. <laughs> so I should have used Deep Chestnut first and not Deep Olive, because Deep Olive is a little too bright yellow I don't know something but let's blend this yeah this one is my ideal concealer shade and I love that it's matte And I'm just gonna take the concealer and bring it up a little bit by my mouth. And it's just gonna give off the illusion of more of a lifted face. And then I'm gonna take my sponge with whatever little bit of foundation that's left over and we're just gonna blend. I want a little bit of a highlighted look under my eyes. Nothing too much, but just a little bit of brightness. So I'm gonna use Deep Caramel. Um, this is also the 16 hour camo concealer. And I'm just going <laughs> Hi Milo. Um, and I'm just going to apply that in this area and then on the side of my nose. And then down, down the bridge. I'm gonna let that sit just a little bit before I blend it out. But while I do that, this mustache, mm -mm. she has to go, or he, he has to go. For those who don't know, I am a heady beast. Okay, so let's blend that out the concealer and I really like this sponge this is my first time using an elf sponge and I really like this especially for under my eyes it's making it so much easier To set under my eyes, I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution London, their luxury baking powder, and what shade? Banana, in the shade banana. I like to pour my powder out and then dip my sponge into it. It just works better for me. Okay, so I'm gonna set under my eyes and I'm just gonna press, press the powder in. It into my skin. <laughs> really gonna set in the crevice of my nose because that is where it tends to crease. I really love this sponge. <laughs> I'm loving the sponge. 
It's just small but mighty. I'm gonna set my brows too. So I was gonna use a cream bronzer, but I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. Cause I don't really feel like I need it since I did that like reverse contour. So I'm gonna bronze using, y'all know my favorite bronzer or drugstore bronzer, which is the Physicians Formula in Endless Summer. If you guys have any um, drugstore bronzers that are your favorite that are brown girl friendly can you please comment them down below because the only one that i am just obsessed with is this one but i also haven't really come across many unless i'm really just not looking so if you have any favorites please 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 comment them down below but i really do love this one too i just like to have options when i'm doing my makeup i love having options when doing my makeup or just like being like what do i want to wear today for foundation bronzer concealer i love just like picking through my makeup i don't know it could be a me thing but that's the reason why i'm always makeup shopping because i love having options for powder and this one is actually a mattifying powder foundation I typically would not set a foundation with a powder foundation, but I've been wanting to try this. Like I've never tried this brand. Found is the brand and this is their mattifying powder foundation in the shade Golden Tan and I want to use it. So I picked this up a while ago and I never, I never used it. And I just like to bring it up to where the contour or like the bronzer and the highlight or the under eye highlight meet with the powder. And it just helps to blend everything together nicely. My face looks so good. One of the reasons why I really love this sponge too is because it has that sharp edge. So you just take the powder and you can go on the side of your nose with it. Here I need a little more powder. But you just dip into the powder. Like that, it's probably too much, but whatever. And then... So if you're like me and you don't really know how to like snatch your nose get one of these sponges then I'm gonna go into my bronzer with a blending brush and I'm just going to blend down my nose I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick. And for my brows, I'm just using the Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Deep Brown. This looks so good. I'm loving this. Not going to lie. This looks really good. I wasn't going to do any eyeshadow, but I really want to use these little um, eyeshadow. They're the no budge eyeshadows, but they're like pencils. A lot of brands are starting to come out with these. So I really want to use these. But e.l.f. also has the Cookies and Dreams eyeshadow palette. And it has like a bunch of blue shades or blue tones in it. So I really want to use this. Look at the color story in this. I don't even know 
Can you guys really see? Yes. So you see these like blue shades. There's four shimmers and four mattes. And I really want to try this blue shade. I've never done a blue eyeshadow look with this shade of blue. I'm kind of scared. Let me rub it. Oh, it's so pretty. Should I use it as like eyeshadow or a liner? I'm gonna start with using it as a liner and then, let me see. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's try it as a liner. You guys, that is such a pretty color. And then I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring it out. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I really like this blue liner. I feel like I should bring it inward, but I don't wanna do too much, but I feel like I should apply it to like this part also what do you guys think i'm asking like y'all can answer me right now uh okay let's see let's just go for it I'm gonna take this like angled brush and I'm gonna go into, oh my God, these shadows are so soft. Like I just dipped my brush in and it picked up so much product. Okay, <laughs> okay, so I just went into this shade here. It's like an iridescent shade, but it matches the liner. So I'm just going to use this to place it on the liner. Oh my God. That is so pretty. Adding that shade really just amped it up and it just looks so pretty. Okay, so again, I'm just placing, I'm just placing it on the liner. I was gonna add a little bit of this blue to the outer part of my liner. Should I do it? <laughs> Let me see if I like it. This palette is so pigmented, oh my God. I just need somebody, anybody, to do this look for your baby shower if you're having a boy. Do this, this is so cute. I love it. I'm gonna go into this brown shade here. It's just a matte, kind of like a cocoa brown. And I'm gonna use it to shade along my lower lash line. I can't get over how pigmented these shadows are. For blush, I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution blush in the shade Peach Bliss. I was trying to decide if I should put on lashes because I 
I'm not mad at how this looks without. So I am gonna go with the lashes. <laughs> um, so I'm just using these, I think, yeah, these are Ardell Lash Contour Strips. And I'm just gonna cut them a little bit. And where's my lash glue? I'm just using the Kiss Lash Adhesive. Usually I like to apply it to my eye and then just place it, but because I have a few lash extensions that are holding on by a strand, I don't really want to rip them out, so I'm just going to apply it to the band. Okay, to set my face, I'm using the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist by e.l.f. apply one lash and then apply the other all right so with the lashes this eye is just a little bit heavier than this eye because I sleep on this eye. So just try to ignore it, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna put on gloss. I'm trying to decide if I should put on a lip liner. I have this, it's the e.l.f. and Tiana Major collab lip liner. It's a dark brown shade. And I'm gonna line my lips a little bit with this. Then I'm gonna use this Cookies and Cream Lip Gloss, also by e.l.f. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I've always been a huge fan of like milky glosses. I feel like a lot of brands don't come out with the milky gloss anymore. Okay, I wanna add a little bit of highlight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this like pearly white shade here in the palette and I'm going to use this as a highlight shade. So I'm going to dip into that. Can you guys see that? This lip combo this lip combo is kind of fire and I really like this gloss let's put some more on <laughs> I like the color and I like how it feels on my lips mm. okay let's get dressed and then I'll be back to close out the look. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy this look as much as I do. I'm kind of obsessed. I just, the pop of blue is just, I don't know, it's just doing it for me. I like the fact that it's not overbearing, but it's there, you see it, you know? You know, y'all get it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in today's video. Don't forget to like this video. Leave me some comments down in the comment section below letting me know if you guys would wear this look. And if you do decide to recreate it, please tag me on Instagram. I love seeing you guys recreate my looks. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have so many new videos coming to a screen near you. So make sure that you do subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Girl.